Hey guys, and welcome back to Rad Resales. I'm Natalie. I'm Will. And in today's video, we're in Charlotte. We're hitting up their Goodwill outlet. It's actually called Second Editions. We were here before didn't really provide hopefully today it's a different story so the bins is where everything goes by the pound so you pay by the pound let's go all right we just pulled up to the bins it's that building right there it is 9 41 and they open at 10 and there's no one in line but there are cars here it's too cold to be outside it's 32 degrees freezing <laughs> it's 9 51 and there's what three people up there what the heck we are not used to this all right doors are open let's go find things to sell online for a profit upon entering the goodwill bins i highly recommend you grab the cart or the blue basket we've been to some outlets where they run out and you're pretty much stuck carrying around your clothes nah, nah, So we'll eagle-eyed this Buffalo Bills sweatshirt from across the other bin. Now if you can find the vintage ones, they are really good money. Buffalo Bills is one of the best NFL brands to pick up in terms of value. Not really sure why. Unfortunately, this was a modern piece, so it's more in the $20 range. Here's the overview of the cost per pound. For the most part, it's $1.99 per pound, unless it's toys, electronics, and houseware. If you've never been to the Goodwill outlet, I'm just going to give you a heads up. This thing is a workout. You're going to be moving clothes left and right, creating piles, dismantling piles. It is nuts. Your shoulders will be burning. Coming up, I find a pair of Bonobo's pants. These are nothing to brag about. We would only pick these up now at the Goodwill bins because the value on them has just dropped drastically. These bins are huge, so I actually got to make a stretch for these polo jeans. <laughs> Yeah. So I just found this super soft sweater by American Eagle and it's cropped. And I love this brown color and there is 6% wool and then a blend of polyester nylon and acrylic i'm thinking of getting this one for myself i don't think this is good to resell but for yourself so i'm just gonna um, put that in there so i'm heading over to the shoe section and i'm about to have my 100 dollars find here now it didn't seem like anybody cared about these shoe bins so i didn't really have high expectations about what to find in here this is a johnson and murphy leather oxford shoe now it was missing its laces and I also only saw one, but even with the shoelaces, Johnson & Murphy is an expensive brand retail prices, but resale wise, they don't do too well. Their sell-through rate is low and their value is all over the place. I did actually find the other shoe and was considering picking them up, but the missing shoelaces sealed the deal for me and I ended up putting them back. I'm scanning the shoes to see if anything is standing out to me and then I see a pair just laying by themselves. It's a pair of Bates leather shoes. We found a few of the Bates military boots in the past and they sold for around $30 or $40. This particular model is okay. The sell-through rate is not good and the columns are a little bit all over the place. Now since we are at the bins, it goes by the pound and they're probably around two pounds together which would be $1.99 per pound so $4 into $25 is not bad. The next shoe brand that I'm about to find is a major shoe bowl brand. Definitely memorize this logo. It is, of course, these Olukais. Now, like we always say, if you can find the exact model, look it up by that. And uh, I did actually find the exact model name, but I don't know how to say it. Olukai Pehuea. 
slip-ons. Unfortunately, this wasn't the best model to pick up and they were kind of dingy so I would have to wash them in OxyClean and all the stuff and for just 25 bucks, uh, not worth. But the real winner and my best find of the day is coming up next. This is another shoe brand to be on the lookout for. They are called Allen Edmonds and this particular model is called the Andover. It's a pair of leather lace-up boots and the black ones are selling for over a hundred dollars. I was honestly not expecting that and the condition was actually really good. Not a lot of treading on the bottom and just some regular wear marks. I was shocked these were still here. At the top of the clothing mountain here, I find some Paige men's pants. We've sold an identical pair for $30 on Poshmark. This brand is definitely not an automatic pickup, so be sure to check the comps. I would say about 97% of the items at the Goodwill outlets is not resellable, but this pink Nike athletic top would have been super cute for some girl. Here, I find something that we will resell. The mountain khakis, these consistently get us about $25 to $30 a pop. Easy pickup here. I personally do not wear gloves at the Goodwill outlets. Reason being, I love to feel the material and stuff because it helps finding things a lot easier. This is a Golf 1 4 zip Nike pullover. Should get about 15 to 20 bucks. I pull out some REI hiking pants. You guys know we love selling them. Easy money, especially when you're getting them for this cheap. This brand really caught me by surprise. It's Travel Smart. Now, I've seen these plenty of times, but this is the first time I've seen it new with tags. We picked it up and sold it for $25 plus shipping. I wouldn't say this is a brand to be on the lookout for. The new it tags really saved it. There's Nat over there. I found some okay things. Me too. So like nothing crazy, stuff that we would pick up here. I know. So just don't sleep on the pants because that's like all I'm finding. And what do you know? Another pair of pants. That's an easy $20 bill right there. <laughs> this is Nat's new favorite brand to pick up when we get it for cheap. I'm going to need you guys to memorize this tag. This brand is Loro Piana. When I say look this brand up every single time you see that tag, look it up. If you find anything cashmere or goose down, you are looking in the thousands for the sweaters or jackets. Oh. And to add to the pants magic, we got another pair of Bonobos. This brand cracks me up because they put the day that you should wear these. These are the Monday pants. Guys, if you have any information on this white label, Ralph, Ralph Lauren, please let me know. I did have to leave these behind because I did see some skid marks on the inside. <laughs> Check 
these out. Gotta look them up, never seen it. Ralph, Ralph Lauren. Never really seen a white label. Right, dress pants? Yeah, they feel amazing. The pants are hitting, got some Bonobos. Wow, uh, look at you. What do we got, your favorite here? Wow, okay, these we only pick up when it's super cheap, these and these. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, I'll take it for me. For you? It's American Eagle. That's cute. And Is it wool? It's six percent wool. Okay, okay. I'll it's say not 6 itchy. Warm. <laughs> <laughs> I think they'll be cute. Yeah. About one hour passed since they opened up the bins, and to our surprise, we didn't know they did this, but they do rotations about every hour. So they started taking out the previous bins all in the one aisle here, and then replacing them with new ones. As you can see, they come out with that yellow cone on top and that means you are not allowed to touch anything until they take the yellow cone out. So you had to wait until they were all stacked up and ready to go. Then they took the cones away and boom, it's a free for all. Gosh, I really hate these blue bins. People just leave them in the middle of the aisle. It doesn't help too that the wheels on the bottom of these things are terrible, so it's really hard to maneuver around with it. It kind of shocks me how empty these new bins are. When we used to live in Philly, they used to come out with mountains of clothing in these new bins. As you can see, almost everyone is taking advantage of the new bins that just came out. Some people get ticked off when people are throwing clothes around, but I don't mind. Thank you for the brand new It Tags Levi shorts, buddy. Right here I feel a thick material, pull it out, and it is some flame resistant Carhartt pants. When you see the FR on other brands and everything, be sure to look them up. Typically, it's always a pickup. This entire trip to the bins, I was just getting pants as you've seen i finally come across a cool t-shirt little froggy there this was added into the personal collection Here's a bread and butter item. It's a pair of Nike basketball track pants. All Nike track pants and sweatpants are worth the pickup. Expect around $25. These have been just solid consistent sales for us since we started reselling over three and a half years ago. If you enjoy our content, go ahead and click that thumbs up and subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. And it does really support our channel and we really, really appreciate that. My next find was this pair of Athleta pants. They seem like a pair of hiking pants. Didn't even know they made that. I wouldn't call this a bolo brand as you gotta be very specific with what you pick up. There are some joggers that do really well like the Salutation joggers. In terms of these pants, I would say around 20 bucks. But luckily, they're very light, so they're probably just a dollar here at the bins. As usual, be sure to be thorough when checking your items before you take them home. As you see here, there's a little holy hole. I keep digging into these bins, you know, you got to get to the bottom of each and every bin. It's a lot of work, but I come across these 
Nike sweatpants, another bread and butter item, $25. Uh, it's a size XS, so maybe $20, $25. If these were bigger, I probably would have kept these for myself. I like that they had the little embroidered fly and swoosh on the hip, and they had the cuffed bottoms. Automatic pickup here. Here, I was going to show Will for the first time what I found at the new bins that came out. We have a pair of Adidas shorts here, but unfortunately, as you turn them around, I spotted that it had multiple stains on the back, so we're going to put them back, but they would have been an easy 15, 20 bucks. Next up was a pair of LL Bean khaki pants. These should also be around maybe $18 here. Unfortunately, I see that this one also has stains, so we put this one back real quick. Then I found a new with tags Oxford pair of chino shorts. I thought, you know, could at least get 20, but there was none sold and some listed for like 25. But the real kicker here was a pair of True Religion swim trunks. I mean, how cool are these colors? The more the merrier. Should be 25, 30. Then we have a pair of Foot Joy shorts. Summer is coming up, so it should be an easy 20. And last but not least, we have a little golf bowler brand here. It's called J Lindebag. And these are a pair of tan golf shorts and should also be another 20 bucks. Ooh. I spotted that. Oh. And I'm like, snag. Oh. Okay, that's it. That's what I got. Nice. <laughs> so after going through everything, this is actually all we're ending up with. Well, well, still a decent haul though. Like there's a lot of items here. So let's go see what they weigh and what it will cost. Not reselling related, but I did find some albums that are great to organize my scrapbooking materials. So I got those for 79 cents per pound. Oh, you guys get bags? Nice. Yeah, when we have them. They grow very quickly. I'm sure. We had a total of 14 pounds of clothes and shoes. So that was 14 pounds of clothes. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. All right, guys, that was our bin trip. That went way better than our expectations. So on reselling goods, we spent a total of $27.86. We got a total of 14 pounds. That's including the shoes. Mm -hmm. We should easily make that back <laughs> right on the boots. Yeah. Overall, very successful trip. Yeah. If you guys are near your bins and you haven't tried them out, highly recommend you do because you might be surprised. Yeah, get down and dirty. I was surprised that they actually did a rotation because right. we've been here before and one guy even said they don't do rotations. You lied. But that was last year so oh. they might have changed stuff but all right thank you again for watching until the end of the video don't forget to leave that thumbs up if you haven't already subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one